Well, it's what we all use to get around traffic, find a place to eat, or even get to safety. We're talking about GPS, and the next generation in the technology takes a huge step forward with a launch of a new satellite tomorrow. That satellite was built right here in Colorado. Jeff Todd joins us live tonight. Jeff, this is just the start of a whole new generation. Karen, these satellites are pretty impressive, faster, more advanced, and they can even adapt. This has been a big partnership between the Air Force and Lockheed Martin. That means hundreds of Coloradans have been building these for years. The first one's set to launch just about nine hours from now. Lift off of the Falcon 9. This is part of their plan to modernize the entire GPS constellation with new technology and new capabilities. To get the latest information, we had to go directly to the source. I'm standing on the beach a couple miles south of Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. The beach is expected to be filled with onlookers tomorrow as GPS 3 launches into orbit. When the first satellite goes up, it'll probably take about a year for them to do all the testing, all the integration. GPS-3 is expected to be able to pinpoint a user within three feet. Right now, technology is closer to 10 feet. A second satellite is already built and awaiting another launch next year. In total, Lockheed is contracted to help the Air Force build 32 of these next-gen GPS satellites. It's time to modernize these, and we're actually putting up a satellite that's uh, able to evolve, to incorporate in new technology, change with future mission needs. Last year, Vice President Mike Pence visited the Waterton Canyon facility and even signed a thermal blanket with the Secretary of the Air Force. Last week, he announced he will also be attending this launch. It looks really good for a launch tomorrow from a weather perspective. So we've got our fingers crossed. I mean, in the end, that's really what we all want. It'll take a few more years before this technology is actually in our pocket. The launch, about 7-11 Mountain Time tomorrow. We've got ways for you to find that launch on CBSDenver.com. Reporting live, Jeff Todd covering Colorado First.